Do you ever get into that situation where you're looking at a file in Excel and you have loads of incorrect data, so data that's just been entered incorrectly, and you didn't put in your data validation rules beforehand? So um, data validation is, for example, here where I've got a drop-down list and this person can only choose either iPhone or Samsung. And if they try and type something else, even wrong spelt, it will not let them. Or it could also be here, for example, where I can only type in three characters. So if I type in four, it doesn't let me. It could be a date in 2016. It could be a positive number, an age between an age range or a list, whatever like that. Um, but all this data, it doesn't have that. So over here, I've got Sienukville with two Ks. I've got here someone's typed out the age 50 and the age 64, but it's age 18 to 35. And I want to be able to check which one of these are incorrect. So what I do is I can create cells for each of the columns with data validation that's appropriate. So here I can say, I want this one to be one of these options. And I get that by going to data validation choosing list from the drop-down list and then choosing the source and entering where my cities are like that. I can also enter my ages by going to data validation and here we have a whole number between 18 and 35. So from here you can have text length, that's where you force it to be three or four characters or you can have a whole number, decimal, date, between two dates, etc. Once you've got that, we're going to take all this, all these cells that seem empty, but they all have data validation, and we're going to copy, and then we're going to go on our table, and we're going to paste special, so right-click, paste special, and we're going to choose this one that's validation. That means it only takes in our data validation. And now we have here all the data validation applied to these cells. They don't look differently, and it certainly doesn't tell us when Samsung has been misspelt. But if I then go to my data tab, data validation, and then circle invalid data, I can see instantly which are the ones that are wrong. This is Phnom Penh written with two N's. Change that, goes away. Sienukville, change that, it goes away. This is not between 18 and 35, so let's write 35 there, it goes away. And this can be such a quick way to quickly um, be able to clean up your data to get it ready for whatever you want to get it to. Thanks for watching, and that is my idea for how to put data validation as a layer on top of your existing data to identify where your mistakes are. Thank you for watching.